When finding the solution set of a system of two equations and two variables, one of the special cases that can happen is parallel lines. What do parallel lines look like when we are attempting to use the substitution method to solve the system? In this example, I am going to isolate the y in the equation on the left so that I can use my substitution method. Doing algebra to that equation, I get 2y equals 4x minus 10, if I move the 10 to the right side of the equals, and then I end up with y equals 2x plus 5, if I divide the entire equation by 2. My y is isolated and is equal to 2x plus 5. The next step is to replace the y in the equation on the right with 2x plus 5. I have substituted 2x plus 5 into the second equation. Simplifying, I get 8x plus 4 equals 8x plus 20 after I'm multiplying across the bracket. And then when I move the terms with the variable x together and move the constant terms together, I end up with 8x minus 8x equals 20 minus 4. The left side, 8x minus 8x cancels to 0. But on the right side, 20 minus 4 is 16. I end up with the nonsense statement, 0 equals 16. This is my clue that this is a parallel line situation. Since parallel lines never cross, there can be no point of intersection, and there is no point that they hold in common. So I cannot come up with a statement x equals number or y equals number for the solution set. When asked for the type of lines, the answer is parallel lines. And when asked for the solution set, the answer is no solution. Make sure to say no solution because that is the answer to your question. This is what parallel lines look like when we are using substitution to solve a system of two equations and two variables.